Hey, welcome back to the big board. We're looking at uh, Heroes Against the Red Star or Hatters or Haters or however you want to pronounce it. It's from Lock and Load Tactical. And, uh, kind of restricted with the gameplay situation at the moment. So this is what we're doing and I'm having a lot of fun with this particular scenario. It's called When the Hunters Become the Hunted. And it's actually one of the scenarios from an expansion module called Honor and Patri, and I'm sure that's not uh, pronounced correctly, but it's the French expansion module for Heroes of the Gap, which is now called Heroes Against the Red Star, uh, which is a com combination of the both. And this is a neat little scenario, not only because it has my my character counter in it, Lieutenant Sharp of the Foreign Legion, but it also has a, a four turn duration, and it's an ambush <clears throat> where the French uh, Foreign Legion really need to smack around this convoy really uh, aggressively and then get the hell off the board before the evil uh, enemy helos come in with four squads of nasties and a couple of leaders so it's a really tight little scenario it plays really well I had a few little issues with it uh, setting up uh, forgot that trucks have a 2p uh, two PP on them, meaning that they could hold two squads, and so I was one squad uh, of space short, but I finally uh, worked that out. And then uh, the other issue I had was I, I wasn't sure, g given that it's an ambush, whether th these vehicles had to stay on their path, because they set up from here to here, and there were two other vehicles here, uh, but they had to, whether they had to stay there, stay moving along the convoy track until such time as they were shot at, which is typically how it's done in lock and load tactical. Now, I think given that the scenario was so short, they assumed that the French would fire turn one, given that they got initiative turn one and could really lay the herd on. And so it all worked out, but I wanted to make sure and got lost in down the rabbit hole of grinding on that. But after I got over that, we, had, we started rolling some dice. And so, uh, ADC Mitchell and Sharp were here, and he had, uh, oh, I don't know what it was, an LRAC 89mm uh, little doohickey here with a really high penetration rate. Uh, so they they smacked the crap out of two trucks here, one that had squads on it, killed, or, killed the squad and the leader on it, and then... Uh, so that set us up here to be quite successful with the scenario. And so the only way that, uh, the, and the way that the scenario visual conditions work is you get three points for each truck that's eliminated, but then it's multiplied by the number of full squads that exit the board and, the, and you have to exit over here. And so what I did was uh, <laughs> kill two trucks, immediately uh, move two guys off the board. So that was going to give me six times two is 12. That's the minimum for a ferric victory in the results. Now all I really need to do is get either two or three more squads off and I'm, I was in great shape. So uh, we went ahead and did that. The, the uh, Soviet opportunity is to exit units off the map, off uh, over here, off this second map across that bridge. And that that's not particularly clear whether the the minus two two victory points is coming off the total or off of you know the threes or whatever the case may be that are being counted. Nevertheless, nevertheless, uh, we we kind of ran with it and just horrible rolling for the Soviets, amazing rolling for the French. Uh, Hilo came in with squads trying to land here to uh, drop guys off and block uh, an exit, and so they get. Uh, adjacent and moving fire bonuses uh, this guy took out the took out the helo with a two roll and just blew the snot out of that everybody dies uh, so where it crashes doesn't really matter uh, because it's not going to affect the outcome of the game of course unless it crashed into these dudes and killed them but basically uh, three quarters of the way through the second turn it's it's all but over. These chaps fired at the, this helo, uh, dropping these guys off here. I don't have a, a hover uh, counter for them, but uh, they are hovering. And since I'm playing solo, we, we don't need to worry about that. We can keep track of what's going on. So these guys all landed here and were getting ready to 
you know, assault move into this hex and maybe try and take these guys out in the open so they can't get any further uh, victory points or, or victory point multipliers. And then, of course, the balance of the game would be these, these folks here trying to get off these vehicles trying to get off the board so that they could uh, clear the way. And we sent uh, Sergeant Brown and one squad as a sacrificial lamb. They would have to try and roll for recovery of suppression next turn. Let's see. They would roll a five. So they would have been good to go. They would have been flipped back. And if they got initiative, they'd take their first pot shot at this guy so that he can't exit the map and, uh, and reduce the VPs. So super tight. You're really only uh, executing a handful of assaults and and you know shots, and it's all about placement, unit placement to get started with. So it was pretty awesome. I uh, enjoyed it immensely. Lots of fun. So much so, I think I'm going to reset. Uh, now the cool thing is, when you finish this scenario, you go to the special paragraph, and then. <clears throat> It, it turns into a secondary scenario. So now whoever got off the map now has to continue on playing and they are being hunted. So there's this QRF that comes in, tries to stop the, stop the exit, but then uh, whoever does get off then has to play on another map, <coughs> excuse me, on another map uh, situated right, right here. And then boom, off you go. And it's uh, helpful leather probably being chased and shot at and all the rest of it. But I, I want to replay this again, see if I can uh, get a better result for the Soviets. And then we'll, um, we'll, we'll jump into the next scenario if, uh, if I can still have stuff uh, set up and we're not uh, doing bits and pieces around the house. All right. All the best. Talk to you soon. Ciao.